name of the Lord. Hallelujah. You made it to October. Yes. And you are not excited. You made the first month. You made the second month. You made the Samuel in 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 11. 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 11 it says, And the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both the ears of everyone that heareth it shall tingle. In your life today, the Lord will do a thing that as many years as will hear about it, they will ask you, take me to your God. Amen. Because it shall be great and it shall beat the imagination of men. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I intended to do two things today, or maybe three things. But as we were having the workers meeting, Pastor Ben was sharing something and it was just laid in my heart that I said, 
we're going to boast minister today. And it's not a coincidence that today, you know, this month is the month of October, which is the month of double grace. Praise the name of the Lord. So you are receiving double blessing today in the name of Jesus. One of the things that we're going to do is that we're going to pray. And then God laid it in my heart to pray for every woman and to anoint you. Every woman in the house. By the time we begin to pray, you will see the line of our prayer and why God said I should do that. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And so I want us to rise to our feet. So that we don't waste time. Multimedia, are you ready? Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Okay, can you put it up? We're going to first of all take a reading, or some scriptural readings. The Bible says in Philippians chapter 2, verse 9. Philippians chapter 2, verse 9. It says, The name of Jesus is above all names and all things. The name of Jesus is above all names and all things. And in Matthew chapter 15, verse 13. He says, but he answered and said, every plant which my heavenly father hath not planted shall be what? Uprooted. Shall be rooted out or uprooted. And Exodus 23, 25 says what? He says, and ye shall serve the Lord your God and he shall bless thy bread and thy water and I will take sickness away from the midst of thee. Every form of sickness, the Lord will destroy from her lives Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Your first prayer points, brethren, I want us to take it serious. If God says we should do it, there's a reason. In the past one or two weeks now, The kind of news or the kind of reports I've, I've received, both in the, within the mission, that's the Redeemed Christian Church of God, and even outside all, you know, the mission that we all belong to, has not been good news. You hear of people's life being terminated prematurely. Your life will not be terminated prematurely. <laughs> And there is this killer disease called cancer that we are praying against today. That is the focus of our prayer. And I want you to please, I'm pleading with you, pray like you have never prayed before. If your spouse is not here, pray for her, wherever she is. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I want you to say, Father, Father. say, Father, that even doctors will not be able to diagnose. You'll be going around and you'll say, I'm not well, I'm not well. And the doctors will say, but we can't see anything. That is an affliction from the pit of air. Lift up your voice again and say, Father, Father today, today, destroy every activity 
concerning killers in my life, in my body. In the name of Jesus, destroy it, Lord. Destroy it, Lord. Every activity of silent killer, I destroy you all with the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we have prayed. Say, so I cancel every death decree issued against my life. In the name of Jesus, you better begin to cancel it. You better begin to cancel it. Every death decree, every death decree that I may issue against your life, destroy it. Every death decree issued against my life, Jehovah God, I cancel with the blood of Jesus in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we are praying. Say every power, pass me my hand, receive the fire of God. In the name of Jesus, every power, pass me my hand. Just oh my God, release your fire upon God to destroy and to cancel. Someone hold their hands. Find someone, bear up with twos. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Join your hands, boys. Yes. Join your hands. Amen. We're going to pray. I want you to say.
to pray for yourself now. That every arrow of cancer fired and fired into my life. Die in the name of Jesus. Release the fire of the Lord to consume me. Oh, my body shall not be conducive to cancer to operate. Demon 
of, of, of profitable growth and sad multiplication I bind you and I cast you out of my body in the name of Jesus. Begin to destroy. Begin to speak destruction to every cancerous cell in your body in the name of Jesus. another thing for it not to be abused and wasted. That scripture that I read to us earlier on, 1 Samuel, I want us to go there again. This is a serious prayer. 1 Samuel chapter 3 verse 11. I read and then I will read verse 12. And you will see what I'm talking about. It says, And the Lord said to Samuel, Behold, I will do a thing in Israel, at which both the ears of everyone that heareth it shall what? Tingle. Shall tingle. Now, if someone says that to you, how would you feel? 
you feel excited, isn't it? But you know what happened? Verse 12. God can decide to do something that has never been done in the life of another person. In your life, for good. Do you understand? But if that's grace that has been extended to you, if it is misused, or if you are careless with it, it can turn into something else. Eli was careless upon, I mean, with the grace of God upon his life. Why? By not correcting his children. Look at what happened, verse 12. He says, in that day, 